Morning pot pickers. Going to do a little video on removing ethanol today from petrol because most pumps nowadays contain it. It's corrosive to some seals and plastics and can lead to fuel leaks and unusable fuel tanks. It's also a solvent which can loosen any tank sealant if you've got your tank sealed and it loosens deposits in your fuel system and it can cause your fuel pump, your fuel hose, or your filter or whatever to block. It's also got a hygroscopic nature which means that it readily absorbs water from the atmosphere which if you leave that blade in your petrol tank and it's metal you're going to end up with holes in it. So yeah, also if you ride in the winter you could find your carb icing up. So if you don't ride your bike over the winter and you're going to lay it up you definitely don't want petrol with ethanol in it. And that it's about that. You can also do your fuel hoses in, which I've had one split this year already, and it was a new hose, so you can do your fuel tap seals as well. So let's crack on, see what we got. We have in our little box our separator tank. A nice little drainy thing on top. We have our funnel. And we have our measuring container. So what we need to do is put two litres of water Who's there, sir? I ain't mine because I ain't got none. So we need to go and put two litres of water into here. Right, here I go. Right, we filled our bottle up, two litres of ordinary tap water. Need to pour that into our big mixing container. And then, when we've done that, we need to add, we've got 18 litres of SO Super Synergy unleaded. I need to mix that in with the water third at a time. So with our 18 litres petrol and our 2 litres of ordinary tap water should make up 20 litres. I'm going to have to prop you over on my little stand because I need to shake this quite a lot. So if you pop over there Hopefully you'll be able to see something. That's the fun bit. bit more
out of smoke in here. As now. Need to shake the shit out of this. This is the fun bit. shake again. Don't smoke while doing this. Vaping's fine. Last three minute shake.
อร่อยนะที่สิ so with the two liters it's normal tap water eighteen liters of petrol we have let me just get my camera twenty liters of fuel so now all we need to do is wait for that to separate I'm hoping that there isn't any ethanol in this because SO Super Synergy Supreme or whatever it's called as far as I'm aware was the only one without ethanol but they're now showing E5 so hopefully there'll be none in we'll find out because when we're done after about an hour and a half when we pour drain it off that will tell us which percentage of ethanol is in this mix so I'm going to leave this just in case you can see it separating and that will be that so squeeze me a minute while I sort this crap out stick that there stay move that no, you're not having any of my biscuits. A little bit raggy. Because I just saw a little bit of dampness. Right, hold up. I'm going to leave that like that in case you can see it separating I doubt if you will but here we go Right, that's 90 minutes up. You can see that's the water and ethanol there. And that should be ethanol free petrol. So now we've got to drain this into this and then read off what percentage it was. I need both hands, so you're probably not going to see this bit. But here we go.
Right. I've drained off a bit more petrol because I have ended up with less. I had two litres of water, now I've got under two litres of water. You're supposed to stop when the first drops of petrol come out. You can see the petrol was there. And now that should be ethanol free because I've drained petrol out as well. So there we go. I'll put a link in the description if anyone wants to read about it. And that's that. Laters.